All right, so I just finished this table and it's been polyurethaned, a couple coats, and it really went on quite poorly. As you can see, there's a lot of ripples, a lot of brush marks, some dust particles. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that. So first I'm gonna start off sanding with 320 grit sandpaper just to get rid of all of the valleys, all of the dust particles um, until it's nice and smooth. Okay, this is just after the first initial sanding with the 320 grit. As you can see, there are, it just really magnified all of those spots that were shallow, like this. This is the darker area that still completely gloss. That means the sandpaper hasn't even touched it yet. Um, you're gonna wanna sand until pretty much everything looks like this. That way you know you've gotten all of the nubs and dust particles and brush marks and any of these valleys out of your table or whatever project you're sanding. And one thing you do want to be careful is to not sand too deep. You don't want to scan or sand deep enough that you start sanding the wood. Otherwise you're going to have a whole another mess on your hands where you're going to have to recoat the whole thing with polyurethane. <clears throat> However, on mine, I did put quite a bit of layers of polyurethane on it, so I should be pretty pretty good um, to keep sanding away until all of these valleys are gone. All right, next I moved up from 320 grit to 600 grit sandpaper and then just going over the same same way. And after the 600 grit, I moved up to 800 grit sandpaper. And at this point, you're really just uh, starting to sand away your previous sand marks. You're not really trying to sand any of the imperfections in the table. And then here I just used a buffer and some buffing compound uh, to smooth out the rest of the table. This gets rid of all of the sand marks from the previous grits. Just make sure uh, after this step um, you wash your table thoroughly. I wouldn't want to eat on this stuff. Um, I don't think it's food safe. So um, yeah, just remember to wash off all of this buffing compound.
And the last step, I just use some polishing compound to um, get rest, rid of all the rest of the swirl marks and just polish it out a little bit. And once again, just make sure you wash this off um, really well. It's not food safe and you don't want to be eating off this kind of stuff or getting it on your food or your hands while you're eating. Look at that, a million times smoother. A little cloudy, but we can buff that out. But it looks a million times smoother. Definitely happy with this. As always, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any comments, please comment below. Thanks for watching, bye.